Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number 44 of our multiplayer series, Five Builder, One City, coming at you. And I'm Imperial Jedi, once again, returning for a few episodes here. That was a mouthful. How you doing? It's been a while since we last spoke. And my goodness, this city itself has just grown so much. So I hope you guys are well. We've been having fun enjoying this. And I honestly, I could probably do an episode again. This is how I start always when I do my episodes, just talking about how great the city has gotten. But I'm pretty sure you guys know this, so let's not... Um, Let's not go too much in a circle here. But yeah, just like looking into the valley here, just kind of seeing like just how far the city now stretches. We've got the airport in the distance. We've got the makings of what can be a new um, cargo port. we got some industrial land we can push into. I don't know, there's just so much cool stuff we can do here. Wonderful things to say. <laughs> yeah, it just gets stuck and lost in the view, it feels like. All right, down to business. So I've got an ambitious three episodes for us to embark on here. I think our city is at the point now where it's grown, you know, quite a bit, right? And what's one thing that we're kind of missing here? A sports team. So what can we do? Well, let's uh, let's kind of put on our thinking caps here and do a little make-believe and uh, tell a bit of a story here. So let's um, zoom on in over to our university campus. And let's pretend that we're coming off of a um, great last few years. Enrollment's been up. And, um, you know, maybe we can even go as far as saying that there's a small, like, you know, city builder um, wing in one of the university campuses. And, you know, the city itself, right, is looking to grow and expand. They want to add some more um, uh, metro, get people moving around. So they're gonna do a partnership with the university. So the university is gonna put out a lot of money. They're gonna do a little bit of terraforming. We're gonna throw in a, uh, a stadium here, get ourselves a uh, football stadium, open air. And then the university is gonna pay to help have some metro brought into this. And then the goal here is to create a uh, direct link I'm going to just maybe switch one line or two. But yeah, I can get from the uh, university campus directly to the airport. So if you're coming here from like international, maybe you're visiting kids, or you want to just come and see the, um, yeah, the game, and maybe you're coming from out of the uh, city or within the city itself, you'll have a way over here. And then because the city is going to be teaming up with the university, it makes sense to maybe um, throw another stop or two. So I think over by the mall, we can maybe do an above ground stop because there's not a lot of room here. Or if we do one of the smaller stops, maybe we can put that closer to the mall. And then I think the goal is to maybe be like above ground for the um, section over here. Just to kind of like save some costs that way and get some views. And uh, we'll cut across the highway and just make our way um, up to the campus here. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. And then I, we'll see how much time that takes. But I also want to start um, uh, building a zoo over here of all fun things. So it'll tie in, I think, nicely with the nature reserve. And it just kind of, whoopsies, my poor computer. It just kind of feels like this spot here is just kind of lacking. A little bit of expansion. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, zone buildings. Not a lot really happened in the grand scheme. Though. Loving how this looks though, right? And then the park itself is fantastic. So I think to help better occupy this land, we might repurpose it. So the city's coming in, buying back these lots. And I'm going to try to keep some of these guys here. But we'll see. The zoo assets are a little bit bigger than I uh, think they are. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan there. And then um, that may have to get finished in our next episode. And then the next episode, we're going to be also starting in a, uh, a cargo port. So just a big, big, big uh, thing to do here. So hopefully we get it done. And here I am yabbering on as if we have all the time in the world, but time is uh, very precious. All right, so let's jump in. That's some cool stuff, I think, right? So I'm not gonna do too much of it, but I am gonna do a slight amount of terraforming just in here to make this a bit flatter to, um, uh, to deal with. Not a lot. This is very manageable. I know the um, the grade police might uh, might be coming. Or, or what's it? Respect the topography. Oh my goodness! Can't remember what I'm trying to say here. But yeah, just a little bit of terraforming. A few trucks worth of uh, soil coming down here. And again, we're 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 ballers right now, right? And all I want is just a nice flat area for the um, uh, stadium to kind of go on. And then I think I'm gonna do a little copy pasta of some of the. Um, uh, parking that imprinted it for the uh, airport. Okay, so just a little um, road coming in. And then we can roll, uh, probably do a little bit of zoning off this as well. And then the stadium I had in mind was part of the campus DLC. And that should just be under for stadiums. Yeah, it was this guy here. So the American Football Stadium. Oh, excellent. I'm going to have my anarchy on. Not that we actually need it there. Yeah, you can see just a little bit more terraforming to do. Otherwise, I think that fits rather nicely here. 
And I might throw a little bit more hills or uh, trees into that hillside. And then as far as parking goes, we're probably going to have to sneak a little bit in on this uh, curve right here. So maybe we can smooth this out. And then for sure some parking over here. And then the parking we can do, yeah, a couple ways. We can copy paste some of the um, uh, parking lots that Imperator did, like I was just saying. And then we can also zone uh, a little bit of commercial here and then make that into the uh, organic and local produce. Alright, as far as the metro itself goes, I was thinking of using one of the Sunset Harbor. Oh, not Sunset Harbor, sorry. The um, uh, the new content creator pack that just came out. Yeah, this guy here. Um, <clears throat> no, the elevated aisle, this one. And this one looks absolutely fantastic as a um, like a terminus station. I also have one of these very similar ones to, uh, to the airport. So that'll be kind of good from uh, side to side. Yeah, so um, Metro coming in, we're going to want to avoid the fire station. So we're probably going to go on an angle here and then just sneak on, uh, sneak on around. So let me put the Metro in first. All right, and then that can just be a nice clean 45. That's not too shabby. And then probably just sneaking, yeah, right through here. Just past the uh, workers' barracks. Oh, academic report. Speaking of campuses, I'm gonna use the move it mod magic through here. All right, follow a bit of the slalom. I'm gonna use uh, some cheating here. I'm gonna go right over top of this. <clears throat> And then I'm going to be using the um, Unified UI to get us the, um, oh gosh, what is it called? What is this one called? Um, oh no, I don't even have, no. Do I not have it turned on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I do this still or is this a, um, am I thinking of a different mod here? I am thinking of a different mod. Shoot, I don't have it running. Oh well, that's okay. We'll still be able to do this with the movement mod. What am I thinking of right now? I had a different mod configuration just running just the other day here. And I'm drawing like one of those like weird blanks. Oh, it's the network multi-tool. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, network multi-tool would have been pretty helpful for the um, uh, the slope here, just for adjusting that. But we can use the movement mod. Totally no problem for that too. I feel like I just keep learning like more and more between the episodes on the, like the more common mods. So I'm getting pretty close to doing some uh, tutorials on that stuff. I've been kind of dragging my, uh, my feet a little bit, but... I'm excited to uh, get some thoughts out there. So, I think this then would want to be elevated as well with the suspension. Looks nice. And then this should just be going right into the uh, tunnel. And then I think, yeah, I was going to make it a little bit complicated, but let's make it a pretty simple um, station over here. No, it just goes underground. Okay, cool. So yeah, it could just be like the simple underground uh, metro. And we could just sneak that in over here, just buy back one of these businesses. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, you know, it's close to the mall, and then uh, obviously people over here can uh, can take it. And there's a way, of course, to, uh, you know, get over to the mall via bus. So, lots of people using that. And then this will just sneak on through in what hopefully is a logical format. Beauty is underground, so we don't see it too often in case you make any uh, weird mistakes, right? Okay, that's really clean. I think I'd buy that. And before we go too much further, let's um, see if we can fix some of this slope here. This might need to be a bit taller. No, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Let me try sloping this, and we'll see what the um, result looks like. My initial plan was to go, like, uh, above... The, the wires here, but I might just throw the wires in um, above the uh, the metro instead. They do need to be they need to be a little bit taller though I think they do need to be. Okay, so that's the slope feature from the move it mod. I think I maybe missed a note or two. So let me try going through and fixing a few of these here, and then I think yeah we'll end up on top of the power line here. So that kind of solves what I was just saying. Perfect. Yeah, I think we're doing these by uh, by hand. 
We want you to trust us with your money. Because okay, with and I'm money, seeing the uh, symbol, of course, for God Water for our poor stadium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this already starting to function, too? Okay. Now, is that enough? No. Bring in water that way. There you go. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave it running on one speed. And then we'll just get these two slopes. There you go. Mm, not quite still. Okay. Yeah, so the network multi-tool, in case you guys haven't checked that one out, you can just kind of click on, like, the top and bottom slope you want to um, adjust, and then just press enter. Like, it's so... It's kind of crazy to think of, like, the state at which the uh, the mods are right now. And then even just thinking back to, like, the first um, pass at the second season when I was trying some of these mods out, and it was, like, an embarrassing struggle, you know, to say the least, politely. Yeah, the game is really cool now. And there's like a, a strange number of people that um, have not actually played the game in quite some time. But they're just like, you know, avid fans of still watching. So if you're one of those people that just, yeah, sitting on the sidelines waiting for the um, right moment to come back into Skylines. Like, I'm telling you, it is, it is, the grass is greener on this side, my friends. It has gotten good. All right, let's make this a nice smooth turn in here. Easy peasy. And then as far as the lines go, I think what might be a simple solution, and this also is a little bit of a, uh, a helpful tip here. So if you wanted to extend the line, instead of having to like delete all this or add, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff, just very simply grab this one and we're gonna pull and move it to our, uh, our furthest stop. This is the new end of the line, right? So the white line has gone this far and then we need to find our new station. And I'm going to click to add a stop on each side. There's one. There's two. They're on the uh, the line now. And then same idea over here. So we'll click. Make sure we're not adding a new line, but we're actually just clicking to add a stop. And that will solve that. Cool. So now you can go directly from the airport, uh, switch over where the green line comes in, and then uh, make your way to the stadium. And then, I don't know, I feel like if this gets really, really popular, maybe we could do a, uh, a bypass. Switch one of these to a bypass station. That's a lot of effort, though, so maybe I just will stop that thought. But, yeah, now we got the way in. That's really cool. So, parking. We need a lot of that. And, for goodness sakes, that should be um, symmetrical of that. Beauty, which means this needs to move over. Cool. And who knows where that's even going. Okay, so Metro's coming in, and people are right away using this, too. That's fantastic, actually. I, I just still, again, I cannot believe this is the state of the game. We have, like, Metro overhaul, like, built into the game. And these are just, like, in air quotes, vanilla assets, I guess, because, like, you know, don't really need anything besides the content creator pack for them. But just, yeah, I'm kind of blown away. This is the state of the game. All right, so using the power of the Move It mod, let's copy paste some of our um, parking over here. It's electric parking, but it can be multi-purpose. And I almost want to just grab like a segment or something here if we can. Yeah, see if we can grab this much. Yeah, we'll we'll grab that much. I'm gonna copy that. Ah, oh, so cool. And then I'm gonna throw say this instance down uh, two times let's uh, let's say at the uh, university here okay maybe there's a little bit of room for some uh, shops or some tailgate or something a little tailgate party ahead of time okay so we'll throw that down you can see the need also to make sure of a, um, a flat surface going into this so let's grab all of this here, including the uh, the road, and we'll just make this the uh, same height. Beauty. And then, I, yeah, I just feel like we would probably need at least on each side, right? 
Whether it's this much, I love the one tree that's hanging out with us here. Yeah, you can come along. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not quite what I'm looking for, though. Maybe we bring this in as well. I don't really want an offset um, intersection there. And then we got the bus stop, too, so yikes. Um, okay. Let's move the bus stop a little bit further down so it's a bit more convenient with the metro anyhow. Just pull that to there. And then could this be moved over just like the slightest amount? Just to give us access to the uh, intersection here. Yeah, there you go. And then maybe this can be um, our little secret, but we'll just flip that over. How it always was, right? There, yeah, I'd buy that. Not too shabby. And then let's um, let's do that zoning combination here. So we'll throw in just the regular district, specialize that. Getting a little bit of overlap, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm still not really wowed by this parking yet. So let's um, let's see if we can fix a bit of this. I'm also trying to be respectful and not like really do too much terraforming. You know, so this already is probably like, too much for someone. No, I am a bit of a broken record about this kind of stuff, but I do feel like the way we all play the game differently, and then how we kind of come together, that for me is City Skylines. And I definitely, I'm just an enthusiast, right? A lot of hours in the game. I might maybe, I, I should know more, to be honest with you, for how much i played, right? But just, yeah, I mean, it's not my job. Not my job planning cities, but it's really interesting, though, to see, you know, like City Planner, right? For someone who is their career, just like, see the difference. And there is a difference. Holy smokes, is there ever a difference. But yeah, I've said this before too. Like the more I play and more uh, just kind of like, you know, live and breathe skylines, the better I get at this. And the more fun I seem to have too. It's kind of crazy how that works. But I've gone back and um, like kind of rejuvenated some of my uh, old vanilla series and just seeing like my own personal progression. And like the one thing that caught me off guard too is like this was before I had made my um, uh, switch over to the, how I do the pipes now. Okay, so I'll get a few more parking lots in this way. And that's, you know, it's not too bad. Actually, that, that's nice. I think what it was missing was just the concrete bit there. Yeah, that's cool. And then what's going to go in over here, I wonder? Maybe a, a, um, a plaza with a park or something like that, too. Okay, so that can just kind of be a dead end. <clears throat> and then we can throw in one of these guys. If it'll fit. <laughs> Not the playground, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess that is the one I want, but as far as the steepness goes for that slope, that's not jiving. Okay, that works for me, though. Just somewhere to kind of hang out, you know, and, um, you know, grab a uh, bite to eat, walk over to the park, meet some friends before the game starts. And because we're on the campus here, let's make this a bit more, um, it's kind of walkable and fun. And let's give these guys, this is getting out of nowhere, but, um, this is coming from nowhere, I should say, but a little, uh, a little walking path that kind of leads into the, uh, into the hillside here. A little bit of hiking. Why the heck not, right? Let me just tie that in with the, uh, the hill. Okay. And let's make this uh, sneak on over to here. And then I feel like there would probably be a little bit of fencing uh, around here as well, just from like a safety perspective. Keep the bears and whatnot out. And then also at the same time too, I want this to feel like you can kind of just go and explore. Not really any houses to, uh, to compete with, right? So maybe just a little bit of fencing through here. Let's kind of give it a little bit of a vibe. Yeah. Let me put some more uh, trees in this spot here. Okay, we'll keep an eye on time though. I'm going to be uh, speeding this up a little bit because I do want to get the uh, the zoo started. Mm 
you know it's probably gonna be faster is this we'll put on a tree copy that and then just throw some more of these in to increase the density oh, that's cool and then yeah see that's not too bad eh? the way it's kind of filled in and I think we can probably um, get a couple more trees in I don't have the anarchy on so this should just fill the open spaces And then if I go through, oh, of course they're all there. Okay, never mind. Really, even with the anarchy off? Oh, I guess maybe I put those over top. I don't know. By the way, let's save some RAM and uh, not do that. Is there still chance of zone in here? There is. Let that be a tree. And I'm gonna surface paint some of these uh, last few spots here. Maybe that's that whole thing. Okay, that's kind of hidden away. All right, well, that's not too bad at all. Just kind of popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, so buses can kind of turn through here. This is really nice. We got the um, uh, farm stuff coming in, dropping off the uh, the goods to sell. We got parking. We got our stadium. This is fantastic, eh? Just a little park over here. And let's just do one little connection. And then we'll come back, we'll do a little bit of decorating, we'll throw in some benches and stuff. I'm just kind of nervous about the time here, so let's um, let's go get started with the um, with the zoo. Bring the whole to add the old grain mill. And actually, you know what, before I do, I'm going to change that slope just a little bit. Not too shabby. And then, is anyone, I'm sure they are, but is anyone using this? Can we see some... Oh, yeah. That looks great. Honestly, I think one of my favorite things to do is, like, when the city is all built and done and it's just running, I like to sit back and just do some people watching. It just feels so real. Because, like, you know when you're a kid, right? You just want these, like, model railroad towns that are functional, and I feel like this is, like, the digital version of that. And then just look at me. The buses, the people, the heights, the mountain, the trees, the skyline, the airplanes... Man, just take it in. This is beautiful, eh? There is honestly something very special about this game. And the fact that we're still playing it, we're this diehard about it, nothing has even come close to touching it. Like, what a great experience, eh? Alright. It's a fun moment. Let's not get too lost here. So, over here, again, it's the same idea. A little bit of terraforming. I don't really know how much I need. I'm not trying to do, like, you know, too, too much, but... I'm feeling like I want to push some of this in just to get started here. And I'm going to be using a combination of the Park Life DLC. And there's actually a free DLC that I'm going to use a couple um, pieces from. So I will let you guys know about what is what. So let's do a search right away for Zoo. And there's this one here, which is actually part of the After Dark. So this will go in. And then we're going to put some of the... Um, uh, What's it called? Park Life uh, Zoo pieces in with it. This whole, this whole shebang. All right, so let's do the district first. And we'll have this just very. I'm gonna switch the music over here, guys. One second. Some synthetic dawn. I've been trying out the uh, new radio stations. I finally got those ones. Not too bad. I still think uh, Synthetic Dawn and uh, Surviving Mars are my favorite, though. And then possibly followed by the uh, Classical. Alright, so why don't we just call this the Golden Shores uh, Zoo, just for some simplicity. Golden Shores Zoo. And let's get started with a gate. Maybe our entrance can be over here. Okay, is that the main gate? It is. So main gate. Let me just come a little bit in. Yeah, and I feel like this is kind of the the generic floor plan, right? And then we'll put in some fencing, put in some trees. It's 
I mean, it's close to like a residential neighborhood, so I don't know. It's not gonna be too loud. It's gonna be kind of weird. I don't know, but hopefully it turned out really nicely here. We'll just take our time and piece it together. Okay, a plaza. A little steel little cafe right in there. Souvenir shop for on the way out. A restroom, perfect. And then why don't we have just a little back way up here? Because there's a lot of pieces uh, to put down, actually. So we can have a little uh, lookout point up here. Let's snap some stuff onto this. So I just realized I've been using my um, pathways here at a plus two, so we get a little bit of a, a bump in the uh, soil. It may or may not be uh, be helpful. We'll see. Okay, well let's um, start snapping some stuff to this, and we'll kind of go from there and see if we need to uh, terraform anymore. Because I'm sure we're gonna have to. Oh, moose and reindeer, perfect when to start. Okay, so that can actually snap to that you can see though the pathway not happy so never mind um try that one more time please yeah there you go that's what i was trying to do i guess and then yeah so we can put in a um a fence here i guess we'll use the zoo fence and we'll just visually look and see if it feels like it's too close and if it is then we're, we're not gonna I don't know, I just, I just feel like that's a lot of buildings to unzone. That's a little irresponsible. There's a lot of taxpayers, right? How profitable is this zoo really going to be? Alright, so we can do this. Preserve some of the um, uh, space around the library. And then can I just snap to anywhere? Oh, that's cool. Why don't we come in like that? No, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, yeah. And then if we can terraform a bit more of this. Let me just blend that a little bit more nicely. And then this hill. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're pushing. We're doing a lot of terraforming here. Easy now. Okay, so as far as water goes, let's put some water into the zoo. Kind of loosely follow the pathway here. And I feel like zoos do best if the um, kind of walk, just like, you know, roller coaster um, kind of park style, right? Like, we'll have the pathway kind of fall back on itself. So we'll just do one big loop down here so you don't get lost or anything. The other thing that happens too, right, is if you um, make this one long line, like no one will go to the very end of it, right? And all the uh, attractions and stuff back here, they'll be lonely. All right, well, let's put down another attraction. Speaking of which, is this the, oh, it was a lizard, cool. Maybe that can go right there, it's kind of fun. And then let's do down and across and kind of have this um, uh, fall back on itself basically see if we can make some uh, magic happen out of this shape right here antelopes oh cool it's just gonna fit now I just realized we've actually left the uh, the zoo and we've made our way into the uh, national park I don't know how much of a problem that would be from like a game mechanic perspective because of how we're like doing the uh, unlocks and stuff. But presumably, if we were trying to level up the zoo, we would want this to be included. So we're just pushing the park back a little bit, even though it's all kind of part of the same thing, you know? All right, so there are pathways with some water underneath them. And then what else do we got in here? So we have the bison enclosure. Oh, that's a cool one. That fits right there in the corner piece. 
And then you know what, actually, because of the way the um, pathway is set up for that, let's do that instead. So that pathway just overlapped, and that was a little bit unnecessary, so we could just get rid of the extra. But because we snapped it to the pathway in the first place, it's symmetrical, so all was not lost there. I'm gonna get a better view of our bison friends. Very Canadian right over here, eh? Get your moose, get your bison. All you need now is like a um, uh, like a wolf or something. Got some beaver, some Canadian geese maybe. All right. Now I did hint at using a um, uh, the after dark piece, and then something from a different asset as well. So let's go ahead and throw some of these in. Yeah. Do you know what? To be honest, I thought there'd be more room still over here. Hmm. What do you even look like? So what we could do is maybe put this here, make that feel like it's the um, the main entrance in air quotes, and then like attach the rest of the zoo stuff to this if we can. Kind of make it seem like it's one um, one big compound, you know. Okay, tie that in with the the road right there. And then, yeah, it's a shame we don't have, like, a little break in the fence or something. We could just throw the, um, my favorite commercial, the horse economy. Guys, I'm telling you, they really need to make fake, um, uh, like, you know, t-shirts and, like, products for these, uh, for these companies. I would buy a horse economy t-shirt in a heartbeat, man. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I, I say that sometimes in my other videos and when I live stream. So if you've heard me say that before, you know it's true, at least. I think sometimes I'm a bit of a broken record, though. It just happens. I feel like an old grandpa telling the same story again and again, right? Okay, well, not the cleanest, but we can use our imagination a bit and pretend that looks nicer. So I won't stress too much. And then just from, like, a um, an air quotes realism perspective, I'm going to make it seem like you can kind of walk through here. And I'm going to have a um, uh, little pathway come to this part. Just to kind of make it seem like we're uh, we're part of this. There, that's a little better, right? And then I'm gonna throw in some trees, and that'll hopefully kind of you know hide the uh, little wall a bit there. But use your imagination, and then we'll be okay. Okay, so I need a bit more fencing to come through here. We actually talked about um, reclaiming and buying the um, the land back here. Looks like we actually may not have to. And then I was going to use the um, uh, gosh, what is it called? The uh, panda sanctuary. And this one is from the um, Pearls of the East, I believe. Yeah, Pearls from the East DLC. It's a uh, lesser known DLC for the game, and it actually is a free DLC. So if you suddenly are like, you have it free? Yeah, totally free. It's free one and uh, match day. I, I'm sure I've mentioned that before. Match day is also a free DLC. It's maybe a little bit big. I'm just gonna throw this at. This is not where it's gonna live. I'm just curious to see it's, what it looks like though. Yeah, so I feel like this has good um, like zoo vibes to it, right? And the enclosure itself is very large, which I think is also um, supporting our cause here. And look at how cute they are. These little lounge lizards. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's find a way to get this in. So, hmm. What do we do? Do we... Looks like we do take out the houses here, eh? And then we change how the loop... Oh my goodness, we probably should have planned this out a bit better, but... Here we are. I do think a real fun um, part of this game is the trial in the air. And then, as long as you don't hold me to this, right? Because it's like, oh my gosh, the city budget. I know, I know. Get rid of those houses. We'll unzone. You know, what's a few million more credits at this point, right? Alright, so that will go here. Building our exists. That's right. I'm silly.
And this also makes it seem like we have another entrance into the, uh, the zoo. And there's a little bit of room left here, so we can actually pull off the uh, enclosures. All right, so we got the moose and reindeer. We don't have the birdhouse in yet. The birdhouse can go up on the hill. Still looking for somewhere to, yeah, to throw this in. That is terrifying. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Hold on. That's better. And again, just, you know, a little bit of fencing, make it seem like the road's separated. A little terraform, just a hint here. I'm trying to preserve the uh, the vibe, though, of the mountain. Yeah, it's not too bad. Something else is going to have to go up here, like a cafe or something like that. And then... Get the antelopes back. Antelopes aren't too large, which is good. I'm just going to go in the corner right here. And with a bison enclosure. Okay, so that's just going to go right next door. Mm-hmm. And then maybe this is the end of it. And a couple cafes and stuff over on this side, too. Like, what's left? The monkey pals. Oh, there's still so much stuff in here. Okay, does that fit? It does if we push the fence back. That's good to know. I think we're encroaching a little bit on um, city side here, but I think we, we've, we're pushing in. Giraffes, oh my goodness. This is getting fun and a little bit out of control. I think we have to start um, saying no to something at some point here. Lions, oh, this is so cool. Okay, no, I don't think we have room for all this, eh? We definitely do not. And rhinos, no, we do not have room for all this. Elephants, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. All right. Um, let's connect all this up. And uh, let's see if we can get this going here. Pardon me, my poor voice. <clears throat> Let me drink some water in here, guys. One second. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's connect this pathway up. So yeah, it turns out, zoo, you need a little bit more uh, room than you think you do when you're making this, eh? Okay, so same idea. Let's make it seem like those are connected. And then we're going to play that same kind of magic we did before. Where we, um, we haven't even done it yet, but we're going to put some trees in, though. So that's kind of your way in and through. And then you can go in here, and then we can snap a couple more things to, to this pathway, I believe. Alright, so we get a, um... Uh, what do you call this? A plaza, I guess, for this for the zoo? A little zoo plaza. This is the uh, cafe, gift shop, and a restroom. That's not too bad. I think that actually might be better if we were to do it down here. Yep, very much so. And then, I mean, part of me does want to do a bit of an expansion, but this is getting a little bit out of hand, that's all. Okay, so some signage. Well, info board did come in. That's cool. Throw another one of these down. A little bit of decorations here, too. And then I guess um, this spot here is where we can maybe um, uh, make a little like seating area. Put down some uh, picnic tables. We'll throw another cafe in over here as well. Actually, worked out very nicely. Okay, so I'll put some tables on that. Nothing too wild, just a little bit of detail in here, though. And this is the kind of detailing that you don't really need that many assets or um, mods or even anything to do. This is all theoretically just part of the uh, the base game now.
Okay, we have some benches built in, so that's fine. And there's the cafe right here. Cool. And then uh, let's walk in and around this part here. And the good news too is like since we're not making the zoo like super grandiose, we should be able to finish this before the uh, episode is up, and then we can dedicate the um, entire next two episodes to building the uh, cargo harbor out. Which I mean, it's gonna be pretty cool, pretty ambitious. It should hopefully, yeah, tie tie in the um, uh, like the bay and like across the uh, the water a lot more. Um, so I want to say naturally. I mean, for goodness sake, we do have, like, you know, the old harbor, right? And we never ended up putting the, um, the, the new port or whatever in. Okay, just throw some of these tall boy trees in. Do that same, uh, trick from before. We just grab some trees. Copy, paste. That's nice like that. Maybe give the idea that we're kind of, like, you know, putting the zoo within the, uh, a forest kind of feeling. Um, oh shoot, I have the uh, tree anarchy. Oh, for goodness sakes. Alright, back that up there, buddy. Um, I'm actually just gonna do. Sorry, guys. That was a big oversight. Those are fine. Okay, try that again here. So just gentle rotations, copy pasta, putting a whole slew of trees down here. Don't have the anarchy on this time, so it shouldn't fill in too many spots. And if it does, that's okay. And then cool the use of it all, I think. I'm a little bit sad though that we didn't get uh, the giraffes and stuff in, but that's great. Right. Pretty darn productive episode, nonetheless. And I'm excited to go back and see the, um, uh, the, the you know, the stadium in action. I think before the episode is up as well, we should throw the um, day-night cycle back on, get a little bit of the um, the night vibe going, see how that kind of looks and feels. And I think that just kind of ties off into the uh, the hill over here, and that'll be like all she wrote for the edge of the zoo over here, and then it just becomes the wilderness. Yeah, I think I'll use a bit of maple leaf over here, not not the cleanest exit. Or, uh, end. Actually, you know what might um, help tie this in a little bit nicely is if we throw in a um, just like a rock or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do with that. Let's get rid of it. But yeah, just like a rock or something, just to kind of make it seem like the um, yeah the edge is like not approachable. I'll throw some trees back over that. No, no, not like that one. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so yeah, I'll throw a few um, trees in over here. Get rid of the um, weird jagged edges happening over there too. Loving all these pines. Can't picture life without them now. Do you know though the uh, fall colors are just starting to come in, and I think the um, one thing I'm really going to miss from uh, not being in Ontario and just like kind of out east is uh, all the beautiful colors. Because yeah, out in the the west, there's just a little bit more pine trees. And that's fucking cool. And then you know, unless you zoom right in, you won't really know that the elephants are missing. But doesn't that just look so much more like just filled in and nice and just yeah? I think the um, the park here just has a bit more like life to it. In air quotes, in, like actuality too, right? Yeah, we just need like someone else up on the uh, the hill here. All right, so cafe and a um, little seating area up here might be appropriate. Let's bring some pipes. Now, the downside, because of how many, like, bizarre entrances and stuff, uh, I think people can kind of enter through the, um, 
uh, the, the snappy one. So I don't think the zoo's gonna be profitable, and I don't think it's gonna go up in um, uh, stars that high, but that is quite okay. All right, so the cafe up here, little restroom next to it. That's gonna go to the end, actually. Yeah, nestled right here in the end, that's really cute. Okay, let's get these at the same height. Almost worked. There you go, that's better. I'll just throw this in right next to it. Couple of those. We'll put a little sign back in for some fun here. We do have a lot of benches, so I think we're okay with that. And we could do the same thing over on this side. We throw one of these in. Get a couple more benches, pull a tree or two back. And then just a bit of fencing up here to make it seem like the perimeter is safe and our animals can't escape. Don't want any of that. It's not Jurassic Park happening here, is it? And it'll make that kind of seem like it just goes into the uh, the hills and you can't can't penetrate our uh, our fortress here. Okay, maybe not the cleanest job, but there we go. Still works for me though. And then yeah, we'll just tie this in with the, uh, the wall down here. Cool, and then just a few more trees to kind of cover the uh, unsightly spots. No, that's not too unsightly, is it? No, that's um. Did it again there with the anarchy. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I think I got a little bit lucky there. That's not too bad looking. Yeah, it's actually not too bad at all. All right, so let's um, let that kind of catch its breath for a second, and let's head back over and see the uh, university in uh, in action. Oh yeah, that's cool, eh? People are using this uh, parking, which is nice. The stadium, you know, not having a game day today. That is okay. And the way this mechanic does work is um, cancelled. Oh, never mind, that even happened yet. The um, uh, city will play other teams, and then we have a chance to make some revenue off selling tickets. And then if we wanted to, we could um, make transit free for the day. We could increase um, security, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a fun balancing act here. And then we can set the uh, ticket price, too. All right, is there any reason why we're getting no garbage up here? We're close enough that um, these guys should be getting some uh, some action going. Nah, we'll let that run his clock. They're close enough, and then no one else is complaining nearby, so I imagine it's just a uh, a matter of time here. Otherwise, guys, I think this is totally mission accomplished for uh, for today, right? Great addition. We have a sports team finally. Like this is so fantastic. I said I would come back and detail this, but you know what? Time's starting to get away from us here. So I think I'm uh, I think I'm happy with this. I think we'll wrap it up. So the city's grown, it's a big place now, we got our own sports, we got our own zoo. That just looks so nice nestled in here, doesn't it? Same with the watchtower up there. Well, you guys let me know in the comments section, and um, yeah, otherwise, I think this is uh, this is, makes me happy. I don't think we have to come back and change anything here. And that means, yeah, the next two episodes, what we can do is, um, oh, it just turned into rain, how cute. As I, of course yell over the commercials but yeah next episode let's um let's jump in over here let's do a bit of uh zoning we'll get some yellow industry going and i think we did terraform just like the littlest bit but we'll put in some key walls we'll make like a um little cut in section and we'll try to snap in a harbor piece or two and we'll stick to this side of the bridge so we don't have to worry too much about the boats being uh, inconvenient and then just how the um Harbor stuff is kind of like coming in. We're gonna to have to be over here just because of the, uh, you know, the, the the shipping canal lane thing. It just ends right there. But I think that'll be really nice. And then I don't think we need any additional uh, highway interchanges. 
I think what we might do is uh, rely on this one. And there's a chance we could make that go a bit in and through. We'll see, though. Um, this probably could benefit from a small uh, residential suburb, but, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see. Time is not necessarily on our side, but um, definitely the seaport. <clears throat> Want to get that going. And, uh, yeah, the sky's the limit. I think that's it. <clears throat> also, end my poor voice here. Guys, let me know what you think. Always looking forward to reading the comments. I think we get better together, too. And also want an excuse to come over here and see the airport. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy building. All the best, and take care of yourselves, guys. Thank you.